you got it in four well? Yeah. Yeah, just stay. So we are in Sand Hollow State Park um, down in southern Utah, just outside of St. George. And we're here for a few days. So we're going to go play in the Jeep. And what else are we going to do? Maybe try some more golfing. Yeah. So I don't know. Let's see what this looks like out here. Here's our view. So this isn't too bad where we're looking. Everything's full down here. And you can see the lake, Sand Hollow Reservoir, right over there. Which it's getting a little warm out. Might have to go for a swim. So, stick around for the week. We'll, we'll see what we can find. See what kind of trouble we can get into, or at least Jill. So, alright, see you guys. So today we are taking off to Tokerville Falls. We're going to go check that out for a little while. And I don't know. We've never been there, so I'm not sure what to expect. I've seen some videos and pictures, but looks kind of cool. But just kind of get the lay of the land today and go Jeep in tomorrow. So stick around. See ya. Tokerville Falls. So it's pretty rough road coming up. It said four wheel drive recommended, but I really don't know how you could do it without four wheel drive. I guess you could do it without four wheel drive. You just want some clearance. So this is really cool out here. Just got cloudy and overcast, but it was really sunny this morning. The storm's coming in tonight with a lot of rain, so I imagine this thing might be really flowing tomorrow. So what do you think? This is a really cool spot. Great place. We're going to sit here, have some lunch, and uh, venture down the road. See what else we can find. So stick around. spent much time down in playing around down in southern Utah so this is uh, just outside of Laverkin, uh, Tokerville, um, I don't know, Sand Hollow, 
18 miles from San Helo so far on this trip, but we're on our way back, and you know it's a uh, really pretty out here. So yeah, it's really pretty. You know, I wish it was a more of a sunny day, and and the road is it's pretty fun. You know, we took a we're doing the loop part going back that will connect us back into the road we took. And it is a lot rougher than the other one. So this one's this one's kind of fun. So stick around. Yeah. So after a rainy night and pretty well, I don't know, most of the day, it seems like it's rain or it's at least been really gloomy out, we decided we needed to get out. So we were just going to go for a little drive around the lake, see if we can see anything. I don't know, something to do. Jill wanted to go swimming. I said it was too cold, but she insisted. So we'll see what happens. <laughs> I wanted some heat. So kind of see you know it's puddles everywhere up on the mountain there that was the first snowstorm I think of the season down here so and this is what mid mid October, October. so we are just gonna go play around the lake see what we can find this is the primitive camping area um, no hookups no nothing we don't have hookups either, but at least in the uh, sandlot camp area that we're in, there is bathrooms and showers, garbages. So it's not too bad, but here is really primitive. I think there's some people out there camping. I was just wondering if we'd be able to get Shamu down here, how soft the sand is. What do you think? Would you want to camp down here? This is actually a nicer spot, like right here, than where we're at. Once it's level. I guess you could drive down to the water park. like two bucks a night cheaper than where we're actually staying. Only two people down there walking on the beach. They have it all to themselves. Hey there. Hello. We <laughs> stop that. <laughs> take okay. two. Take two. So hey there. We yep. are just leaving camp, and we are gonna go take the jeep out on a four-wheel drive trail and kind of see how it does with the new changes we've done, modifications to it. Yeah. Um, it's a nicer day today. It's been raining and ugly and muddy, and today is a really nice day. It's not as cold. Yeah, it's a gorgeous afternoon. Yeah, we got our flag up because you have to have the flag. Yeah, we had to get a flag to put on the back of the Jeep. So, I guess people could see us coming over heels. So, we got that on. I'll get a picture of it. And uh, I think we're going to go try Milt's Mile today. 
So we've never done anything out here before. So we'll see how, how everything works. So you said MILT, like M-I-L-T? MILT, M-I-L-T, yep. So stick around, it should be a fun day. Yeah, we finally get to see the sun. Yeah, all right, later. Stay tuned. change of plans <laughs> this this is not rated the same as they are in Moab um, it, or maybe it's just because it's slippery from all the rain yesterday but it's even like ice even our shoes wouldn't couldn't even walk up that slick <laughs> rock but being by ourselves and I do have a knocking going on in my front drive line so that's set to be replaced when we get back home but I just don't know if I want to do anything too terribly difficult for us that uh, we're really not prepared for today today <laughs> so we're gonna we're gonna go try this other trail um, that we found and we'll see how that one goes but this does look like it would be really fun and uh, if I had a little more courage. Yeah, and if the, there wasn't so much wet spots where you slide off. Yeah, it was, it was really quite, I don't know, slippery. slippery. <laughs> yeah. Even the tires went shh on this soft rain. So we'll, we'll go see what this other one trail looks like. And God, did we come up this? Yeah. I do not think this is what we came up. Didn't you know, we come around? I don't know. But, alright, we'll uh, see, see what we find. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad we got out and looked. That was we, what we were about to drive down. Um, God, this is just getting out of where we just came. Mm -hmm. 